It's locked down. It's locked down. It's locked down. 3.0. It's locked down. It's locked down. It's locked down. 3.0. Oh, oh, oh. It's just what I choose to win. Your team, I hope we are all doing flipping amazing. My name is Joanna Wilson. Welcome to my second vlogging channel. A bit more day to day, what I'm doing, what I'm up to. You all know I'm a worker. You all know I've got quite a lot of things going on. And I just wanted to show you a bit more of day to day. What that looks like, which is therefore why I've started this second channel. Lockdown 3 is among us, team. It's Thursday. It's day 3 of lockdown. And you know what? I've made some significant steps to make sure that my mental health is gonna be on it this lockdown. As you all know, I've recently started a new job and I'm gonna be working from home pretty much for the foreseeable future. <laughs> I'm not sure when I'm not going to be working from home. If I need to go into work, I can. But generally, if I can work from home, I will be working from home. So, in this video, I thought I'd just go through a little bit of a lowdown in terms of being able to work from home. My top tips and things that I recommend for people, because I know that loads of us are also going through the same sort of struggles right now. So, top tip number one is separate your workspace from your relaxing space. And for me, until yesterday, this was very, very difficult because everywhere I work is in my bedroom. My desk is in my bedroom and I spoke to my parents and basically wanted to change that because for the first two days at work I was spending 20 plus hours in the same room all day and it's really really hard to switch off at the end of the day when you know that you're not going to be in the same place for the whole time. So I was working in my room, I'm now not. We have converted my room into just my chill space. It's a little messy, we've got a towel on the floor and we've got some cheese balls on there but lo and behold the spare room next door which which is where Niall was usually sleeping, however he's locked down in his flat, has been converted into my new little office. How brilliant. Looking out the window, I've got my own space. It's a really big room that I can move around in. I can do some steps around it, I can walk around it, I can film in it. It's basically separate from my bedroom, which is the biggest thing that I can recommend to anyone who's working from home. Separate your relaxing space and your workspace. At the end of the day, I can shut that door, I can put my stuff away and I can go and relax, which is definitely a major, major one for me. Yeah, working from home tip two, I would definitely think about how you're setting yourself up for success in terms of your workspace. Being able to sit in a correct posture, being able to have easy access to things like drinks or snacks. But yeah, one of the things that's been a game changer is this laptop stand. So I've actually been given this laptop stand from work and it basically lifts the laptop up to the level of my face which means that when I'm sitting using it, I can stay sat up rather than being hunched up my laptop screen all day. And it's been a game changer. So that's one of the things. I think definitely, definitely investing in a decent chair. We don't want to be sat on garden furniture or stools or something that's not going to be good for us. So something that's going to be able to keep you upright, something that's decent for your bottom. And also, like I said, I've, I've got readily accessible liquids. Hydration is a massive one and I'm always drinking a cup of tea or some water and just, yeah, have, having a big enough work environment to set you up for success is tip number two. A working from home tip number three is take your meal times away from your desk and I am actually shooting myself in the foot with this because I'm sat at my desk <laughs> with a bowl of food, but honestly, I try and prioritize most days when I'm having my lunch to take it downstairs, to take it away from my desk. Honestly, you, you will not appreciate the amount that just spending some time away from your desk each day can positively impact the way that you're working. And I think just, just taking, even if it's 20 minutes, half an hour downstairs to eat your food, to go for a bit of chill time, so, so important. Right guys, last but not least tip for anyone who's doing homeschooling, for anyone who's working from home, is to get yourself outside as much as you can. Whatever you're doing, if it's a meeting, if it's a catch up with someone, can you do it whilst you're walking? Can you do it whilst you're getting active? Can you do it whilst you're moving? And just setting yourself up a period of each day to get yourself going. And I have done a walking meeting today and I've also done a HIIT workout with some colleagues from work and I feel so, so, so much better for it. Yeah, prioritize movement, prioritize motion and you will keep sane. <laughs> 
and you will also keep just active during this time. I appreciate this is not the best lighting in the world because I'm outside right now. I'm just getting those final steps in for the day. There we have it, my top tips for working from home or for doing homeschooling. Thank you so, so much for watching this video, guys. Please comment down below if you think I've missed any tips and you wanna help out your fellow homeschoolers or home workers. Keep smashing it and remember anything is possible. You just work. Bye.